Okay, so this question is asking you to work with a graph and it's got a straight line drawn already and the question is asking, by drawing a suitable line on the above diagram, solve the simultaneous equations. Well, we can see that y plus 2x equals 5 has already been drawn for us. So they're asking us to draw y equals 2x minus 1. Well, there's a couple of ways we can do this. We can create some coordinates. So again, we can look at the scale of the graph. It's going minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0. So if you choose some numbers that are on there, then choose some x numbers. So keep it simple. Uh, I'm going to do maybe minus 2, 0, and 2. The function says that we're going to double the x value and take away 1 to get the y answer, or the y coordinate. So double minus 2 is minus 4. Uh, take away 1, negative 5. Um, double 0, take away 1 is minus 1. And double 2, take away 1 is 3. Um, we can see from the scale that we haven't got enough y on there, so using minus 2 isn't going to help us. So just use an extra 1, uh, minus 1. So if we double minus 1, we get minus 2, take away 1, negative 3. So we could plot those coordinates. Um, a quicker way, if the graph is written in the format of the standard y equals mx plus c, uh, where we need to remember that any straight line can be of this format, where c is the intercept point when x is 0, and the gradient of the line, how steep it is, is always for every 1 on the x scale, the gradient is the value we go up to meet the line again uh, with the right angle triangle. So we could use this technique. Um, the function here ends in minus 1, so I'm going to start at minus 1, and the gradient tells me that for every one I go across, because it's got a gradient of 2, the number in front of the x, the coefficient, it tells me the gradient, then I'm going to go up 2. So for every one I go across, I'm going to go up 2. For every one I go across, I'm going to go up 2. So once I've got my three uh, coordinates plotted, then I know this is the equation of a straight line, so I can just get my ruler and draw that straight line through them. Now, because this um, question is about simultaneous equations, um, and it's asking the, uh, the solution of them, now the solution of simultaneous equations on a graph will be where the two graphs cross. So that will be the solution. Read off the x number and then read off the y number. So here we've got the solution. So we can see that the x number is 1.5 and, and the y number is 2, or the y coordinate is 2. Now of course, um, simultaneous equations and anything to do with this kind of work, we should always check that this works for both equations. So the first one was uh, y plus 2x, so 2 plus twice the x value, 2 one and a half is 3. Does that equal 5? Yes it did. And the second uh, function said that uh, we get the y number, which we think is 2, and we get it by doubling the x number, well, 2 one and a half is 3, take away 1, does that work? Yep, it does. So we can be quite happy that that was the solution. Now the next part of the question asks us to find another line that's parallel to the, uh, y plus 2x equals 5. Well, if lines are parallel, then they must have the same gradient. So standard equation, y equals mx plus c. Uh, we notice all the time where if x is 0, then this point here is the c value. Now, as it happens with this question, they've told us that it passes through the coordinate 0, 2. So they're telling us that this point here is 2, 0, 2. Because we want the equation to be parallel, we need to know the gradient of this line. Now, we must have the equations or the functions in this format to be able to calculate the value of the coefficient in front of x, which will be the gradient of the line. So we need to do a quick rearrangement of y plus 2x equals 5. We want it to be y equals as a subject, so we need to move plus 2x to the other side. Well, the opposite of plus 2x is take away 2x. So this is now in the format of y equals mx plus c. So we can see here that our gradient is minus 2. So when it's saying what is the equation of this line, it's going to be y equals minus 2x, so it's got the same gradient, so it's parallel. But we also notice from the fact that they told us a coordinate here that the line's going to go through, that it must go through 2. So minus 2x uh, plus 2 is the final answer to that question. So in terms of the way this um, function looks, 
then minus 2x is a negative gradient so for every one we go across we go down 2 so the line's going to go in that direction and it's going to cross at the point 2 which is the coordinate 0, 2